In Office 2016, groups is really one area that sparked a lot of interest. And as we've seen, they're great for ad hoc sharing of creative ideas with your colleagues. So let's take a look at a group that I'm a member of, this EMEA group here. And you can see that um, as a member of the group, I can see the group conversation within my, my Outlook. Um, and I can see the documents that have been shared with the group um, actually in the web interface. So I've got a, a link there that I can click on and it will open up those files in, in the web browser. Um, but as I'm sure you'll agree, you know, having two separate interfaces uh, for the, the, the conversations and the, um, the, the documents can be really confusing and challenging to, to end users. So wouldn't it be great if you could work with both the emails and documents side by side directly within Outlook? Well, with Harmony, I can. So if I exp expand the sidebar over on the right hand side, you'll see those same group documents directly within the sidebar within my Outlook. So I can work on those documents. Uh, I can easily preview them, for example. I can work on them directly from here and have a full um, a full and rich user interface to, to actually manage those documents nice and easily. And for example, I can keep that open while I go to maybe my, my inbox because in this instance, I've actually received some documentation by email um, and I actually want to share some of that content with the group that I'm a, a member of. So for example, here, I could take this contact list and just drag and drop uh, attachments from my, uh, from my emails directly into that group files uh, location. And let's just save that and, uh, and, and make it available to, to my, my colleagues. So that's really great for capturing and discussing conceptual ideas with uh, different groups of users in a very, very intuitive way in an environment that's focused and uh, familiar to the end users. But what about when those ideas actually become reality? For example, maybe you're now working on a, a project uh, that's being implemented, maybe a construction project, for example. Um, and here, users need to, to really move between those environments. So Harmony allows me to do that as well. So for example, here I have a number of favorite locations and moving to, to one of those locations there, it's actually a SharePoint library that I'm working in. And here users need to be able to work in a much more structured way um, where things like metadata, uh, views, uh, content types and things are, are very important and, and also fully supported by Harmony. So with Harmony, I can uh, work efficiently with all of my content in, in one place. Uh, for example, my SharePoint sites, my, my groups and uh, my OneDrive, for example. So it, it could even be a hybrid environment of um, some, some Office 365 uh, sites and some on-premise sites as well uh, that I know that many customers and companies need to, to really um, support in their particular environments. So I can upload project related documentation, maybe for example, this contract that I've received into that uh, SharePoint library in the same way as we saw with the, the group a moment ago. But you'll see here that I have all the metadata available to me as well. So for example, here I can assign this to maybe the project that we're working on. In this case, it's a managed metadata field. Uh, so I can select that information, maybe link it to a particular task um, in, in a SharePoint list and assign maybe a, a project manager here. So Harmony supports all the different types of, of metadata uh, as defined in your SharePoint environments. And that document is then automatically checked in, made available to, to other users. And you'll see that this grouped view is dynamically updated as well. But as well as that, I can also capture important emails as well. So for example, here, I've actually received some information uh, by email. So I can drag and drop those emails directly into the sidebar as well and as, uh, automatically capture all the important header information from those emails. So I can easily uh, keep 
the, the emails and documents in, in one single place um, while capturing all the important information. And that's really unique with Harmony um, so that the, the mails and the, the documents are, are really kept in context uh, with each other. So what about those conceptual documents that my group shared previously? Um, and maybe I want to actually reutilize some of those, uh, those ideas and those documents that we've been working on, but now get them into SharePoint as well. So with Harmony, I can easily move between the different locations that I've, uh, I've been working with there. So for example, here, I can take uh, a, a couple of documents that we want to reuse, copy them, and then simply paste them into my SharePoint library. and apply the, the relevant metadata to those documents as well. So very, very easily I can work in these mixed environments that, uh, that I need to as, as a business user. Now I could also um, update some metadata on, on a whole bunch of documents directly from here as well. So maybe I actually need to assign a few of these items to that primary site review task that we, uh, we mentioned earlier. So I can see properties on a selection of items and updates the properties there. So in this case, I'm going to link it, link all those items to a particular um, item and update that all in one go. So being able to access and work on all the project information in one place, right within the application that users spend all of their time, in this case, Outlook 2016, is extremely important to uh, the success of, of your projects. And Harmony makes this uh, a reality. Now, that's great for users that are in their office on their PCs, but what about uh, colleagues who are out in the field uh, and, and uh, very often using mobile devices? So th those type of users really need to be able to get the same kind of level of access uh, and usability on um, mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. Um, so let's take a look at Harmony on, uh, on my iPad. So Harmony supports all, all the major um, mobile platforms, Windows Phone, iOS, Android, and, and BlackBerry 10, and all of the major secure MDM platforms as well. And you can see from Harmony's unique uh, update stream here that I can follow uh, both Yammer activity, SharePoint activity, document libraries, lists, etc., all in one place. So it's a unified update stream that's really very unique. And I can see here, for example, that there is uh, an update to one of the documents that we've uh, we've actually been working on. So by selecting that uh, that item in my update stream, we can see the information about that document. I can actually go ahead and, and view the, uh, in this case, a, a PDF document. Um, and I can also annotate that document directly from here as well. So Harmony has built in uh, viewing and, and annotation capabilities. So maybe I need to highlight a particular area of this project plan and make my colleagues aware of that particular um, change or, or something needs to take effect. So in this case, I'm just going to highlight a particular milestone in this project and save those changes uh, back to SharePoint. I then get the opportunity to update any of the metadata there as well and uh, save that back into SharePoint. So any of my colleagues who uh, have Harmony, for example, uh, will see in their update streams, both on their, their PCs and uh, their smart devices as well, um, that there's a new update against this particular document and they'll see the annotations that I've actually just added. Now I can also review all the other project related documents and emails that my colleagues have uh, stored into SharePoint as well. So if we just go back to the update stream there and select the location of that document instead, you'll see all of the documents that have been categorized for this drilling project that I'm actually working on here. Um, and, and so for example, I can see all the documents that have been captured. Um, I can even uh, also go ahead and if I just uh, remove that filter there, you'll see the, the emails that we, uh, we, we, we captured as well. So I can select an email and see all the content of that email as well directly within the Harmony application. 
Now, as, as part of this particular project, I may need to uh, capture photographic evidence. Again, you know, like on a construction site, um, a, a picture paints a thousand words. Um, so, for example, in that instance, and maybe I'm on a remote site somewhere, connectivity isn't always great. So if I go into uh, flight mode on my iPad here, just to simulate uh, a loss of connectivity, you'll see that Harmony actually um, goes into an offline working mode but I can still access all the content that I've actually synchronized for, for offline availability. Um, also I can actually capture content while I'm offline as well. So in this instance maybe I want to take a photo or, or use an existing um, photo that I've just captured and choose to upload that into SharePoint and I can now choose the location that I actually need to save that in. So I can go to my favorite locations, in this case, a digital assets library, select that location and then save that image to, uh, to that SharePoint library. I can then start to go ahead and fill in the required information, give it a, a meaningful name, for example. So in this instance, I'm going to say that this is a um, uh, site review. Save that to, to that particular library. Fill in any of the, the metadata as well, even things like uh, manage metadata while I'm disconnected, I can assign as well. So I'm gonna assign that to that drilling project and save that document. Now, obviously I'm disconnected at the moment, so it's currently in a pending state. And when I go back online, um, that uh, image will be uploaded into SharePoint, all the corresponding metadata will be applied, and my colleagues will be able to see that that's been put into, into that location. So hopefully you know, you've seen that Harmony across both desktop and mobile devices really, really helps me to collaborate in a very efficient way. Thank you very much.